you ever wonder just how many people cheat and drive in the carpool lane illegally? The people who run the freeways in the Bay Area did, and they just ran the most in-depth study ever on the topic. And the results are pretty bad. You were not imagining things. KKL Nine's Peter Dowd is live along the Sepulveda Pass with the details and a quick non-scientific study on how many cheats we just may have here in L.A. Peter. Yeah, also right now traffic here on the 405 is moving smoothly, but earlier during rush hour, a very different story. We actually saw drivers getting into the carpool lane illegally, and it's something that may be a lot more common than you think. When it comes to carpool lanes, sometimes all it takes to stop cheating is getting caught. All right, let's go catch some cheaters. We hit the 405 this evening and found driver after driver. There's one. Solo in the carpool lane. Check out this guy. Not only is he by himself, but he's texting. There are no accurate numbers on how many people illegally drive in carpool lanes in Southern California, but a new study by the Metropolitan Traffic Commission shows just how bad the problem is in the Bay Area. During peak traffic, roughly one out of every four drivers in the carpool lane are thumbing their noses at the law, and everyone else stuck in the slow lanes. Drivers here say they see carpool cheaters all the time. When the traffic is as bad as it's been, people will pretty much do anything to get out of it, even go in emergency lanes as well. Yeah, I think it's unfair, of course. I think it's, you know, they shouldn't do it. And a lot of them could afford the ticket, so what do they care? And though they say cheaters never prosper, the ones we found seem to prove otherwise. Meanwhile, the CHP says it is cracking down on carpool cheaters. In 2015, they issued 30% more carpool tickets than all of 2014. So the bottom line, guys, just don't do it. Jeff and Elsa, 